Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic to dive into and that is data filtration using Python Pandas library. If you have ever found yourself lost in a sea of data and need to extract specific information, you are in the right place. Because in this video, we will explore five powerful techniques to filter your data using Python Pandas library. So let's get started. So first we will import library and that is Pandas. So let's import Pandas as PD. After importing Pandas library, the first technique which we will see and practice is filtering using greater than or equal to signs. So for that, we are creating a data frame which will have two columns, product and sales amount. And each column have four entries. Product have got A, B, C, D and sales amount get respect respective amount. So now we will filter out data where the sales amount is greater than 1000. So to do that, we will copy this statement and paste it here. And in this statement, we are actually saying to pandas that from that data frame which is df and passing the column which we required and that is sales amount so go into that data frame go into sales amount column and using greater than sign get all the rows which have greater than thousand amount and print that data so let's print it out and it will give us two rows and that is product a which have a sales amount of 1200 and product c which have a sales amount of 1500 so if we need to change that amount let's print 800 here or 700 so now it will give three products and the new product is b which have a amount of 800 and this amount is greater than 700 so we get 300 uh, three products so this was the first technique and we use greater than or equal to signs if we know the exact amount or exact product which we want what we can do is that we can just copy this out paste it here and let's get all the information of just product a so for product so for getting the product like a we will pass product as column and then we will pass a because we want only the product a information so it will give product a and its respective sales amount so this was the first technique now let's jump to the second technique next up we have as in function so now we will filter data using this function this function is perfect for filtering based on a list of predefined values. Imagine filtering out specific categories or specific values from a data set. Let's see how it's done. So now we have defined our data and then we create a data frame out of it. And as we see, we have got customer IDs and location. So now using isIn function, we will create a list of locations which we want. So we will filter the data for customers in New York and Los Angeles. So to do that, we have created a filter list and we define New York and Los Angeles as cities. And then on the filtering criteria, we are defining that go into the location column of DF data frame and using isn function, find all the values of cities to filter list so it will return new york and los angeles all respective columns and respective values so it will give three values in return because we have got los angeles in b and customer id d so the result is we have got three by three rows customer id a customer id b and customer id d so that's how you use is in function now let's jump to the third function and that is contains function so the third function which we will be using is 
str.contains. When it comes to text data, the str.contains functions comes to the rescue. You can filter rows containing certain text or string patterns. This is incredibly useful for, for, for finding specific information in your text based on your data set. So let's try it out. Here we are defining some product ID and some product names. So we have got two columns, product ID and product name. So now we will filter the filter the data with a certain criteria. So we are we need to filter those products which have premium in their names like premium laptop, premium smartphone. So in the result, we need to get product ID one and three. So here we have defined our data frame and the specific columns in which it could be present the premium keyword and the column name is product name and we are using str.contains and premium and we are passing case is equal to false. Case is equal to false means that we are passing the string values which we need to find as insensitive, uh, case insensitive. And if we pass is true, we'll make sure that uh, if if the key, if the word is premium in caps, so it will make sure that it will the, find the information uh, like premium, which have premium as in caps, not in lowercase letters. So we are passing premium, and we are also passing case is equal to fall, which makes sure that the case is insensitive, and we get premium if it's lowercase or if, if it's uppercase doesn't matter so as we print it out it will it gives us two product ideas one and three which have premium in uppercase letter uh, p but still give premium laptop and premium smartphone because we have defined case is equals to false next if we have to find a filter products based on a new keyword using phones in the names whether it's present or not let's try it out so it will give us premium smartphone which have phone in its smartphone word and budget headphone which have phone in headphone so this also uh, this also works well so and if we pass case is equals to true so it will also pass this statement because we have defined phone as in lowercase letter so it pass it as uppercase letter and it will not give anything because we are saying that case is equals to true which means that case is sensitive next up we have filtering with query so dot query is just the same function if we if you have worked on sql language um as dot query method is like crafting your own queries and written in Python so here we are defining three columns and we have got student ID math score and physics square so now we will be writing an SQL like filtering query and in which we are using dot query function and passing that get all the data which have math score greater than 80 and physics score greater than 80 let's find out what were the students which have math score and physics score greater than 80s and we have got two students one and three we can also play around with greater than less than equal to like symbols so only student id4 have math score 95 but in physics it's he scored or she scored 76 so that's how you use dot query function in python so next up we have dot where function in Py in pandas so here we are defining two columns date and temperature and the idea is to extract uh, temperatures or data which have greater than 25 degrees centigrade or 25 values so here we are using df dot where function and then from temperature we are defining that get all the values which have greater than 25 temperature so it will give two important rows which have greater than 25 temperature but it also gives nan for first and third rows which doesn't satisfy this condition 
So if you have to remove this, you can easily use drop now and it will show you only those value which have greater than, greater than 25. And the reason why where function by default gives the NAND values is that uh, the where function returns the data frame with the same shape as the original as the original where rows not satisfying the condition are replaced with NAND values so if you have to remove you can just use dot na after your df state uh, where function or you can apply after filtering data so it will give you your exact data which you have to keep rows and that is in our criteria we need to keep rows which have temperature 25 degree centigrade and there you have it we explore five incredible technique to filter data using pandas whether you are dealing with numbers categories or text patterns pandas offer these techniques to filter out and get useful data from your whole data set remember mastering data filtering is a key skill for any data analyst or scientist so don't hesitate to experiment with these techniques on your own data sets and see how they can elevate your data analysis games if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comments below thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video take care goodbye